Let's start our event. Today is a truly historic day. Two and a half years ago, I told famous Georgian artist Muraz Mervanadze, the true story about how the Georgian song ended up onto the Voyager Golden Record. I also shared my dream to have a sculpture which will unite Voyager and Chakrulo into one piece of art. In exactly two weeks, Mr. Muraz came up here in Bioli and showed us the mock-up of the future sculpture. This is how the decision was made, to create the historic sculpture which we are going to open together very soon. But before then, I want to open this event with the film. After decision was made to make the sculpture, I went to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory to record the interviews with most of the people, who were involved with the Voyager project and also some of my other friends. In the film, you will hear what they have to say about the opening of the sculpture here in Georgia. Here it is, the amazing place where miracles are actually reality. Place where some of the greatest discoveries in the history of space exploration were made. And of course, the birthplace of two voyagers. This is NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. Four, three, two, one. MDS, we have ignition, we have a liftoff. Roll program is in on time. Vehicle response is normal. 1977. NASA launched two spacecraft to space, named Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. On board, there were two golden records, carrying message from the planet Earth. Among photographs and several sounds from Earth, there is old Georgian folk song Chakrulo. The record is intended as a combination time capsule and an interstellar message to any civilization, alien or far future human, that may recover either of the voyagers. After exactly 45 years, halfway around the world, in the country of Georgia, there will be statue dedicated to this historic mission and the Georgian polyphonic singing. I am so deeply touched by this magnificent act of creativity and remembrance. I, I, I believe it's the only place on Earth where the Voyager interstellar message and the great Voyager spacecraft with their epical achievements of the first reconnaissance of the outer solar system and of course their Voyager 1's important profound image of our tiny planet taken just before Voyager departed for perhaps one to five billion years of circumnavigating the great Milky Way galaxy. I think it's fantastic. It's the first statue dedicated to uh, interplanetary spacecraft as far as I know. And it's so wonderful that it's being installed and built and designed in Georgia, and especially a, a, a country that has been inspired by a mission that carrying with them the, a bit of Georgian culture all the way outside of our solar system. It's unprecedented. There's nothing ever, nothing ever been like that before. And so I, this is really a thrill to all of us um, because we, we, that doesn't happen here very often. I think it's really wonderful that you can connect to something like this um, through art in this case, but just, I mean, having that song on this record that is going out further than anybody or anything has ever gone from Earth, it's magical. And so the fact that, you know, Georgia is taking the time and trouble and expense to make a, make a monument to that or a, a, an homage to that is really great. The fact that they would think anything about it, you know, is uh, interesting to me, amazing to me. You know, there's so much else going on in the world. Voyager is, was not that big, really. I mean, it's big to people like me and all the people that have touched it one way or another, like you, but a lot of people don't know anything about Voyager, even today. The dedication of a statue to Voyager is entirely appropriate, I think, because Voyager 
I don't think it's overstating it to say it was at least one of, if not the science moment of the 20th century. I mean, it was an amazing shift. Well, I think it's really re remarkable, first of all, and really great that this is happening. I really think of the Golden Record as, as, our, uh, as, as the ambassador uh, to the Milky Way galaxy. And this, what this is, is, is a celebration of the fact that we could actually send such a message, which would be out there basically for billions of years. And uh, this is so it's a celebration and certainly appropriate for Georgia to be part of that celebration with their uh, sculpture. So, so there's something here on earth to uh, reflect on the fact that this ambassador is out there uh, orbiting the Milky Way galaxy. The results were stunning. I mean, this was transformational for planetary science. Jupiter was no longer this great mystery. Saturn's rings were no longer this great mystery. And the amount of science that was done, because remember, these things didn't go into orbit, right? They just flew past the giant planets, took a quick look over the shoulder. There's Jupiter, there's the moon. Oh, see ya, on to Saturn. And um, the amount of science they did in those flybys is incredible. The Voyagers changed the world by expanding our neighborhood. First, by exploring the outer planets and now going out into interstellar space. And it's just so exciting to see the discoveries that Voyager has made. Since 1990, it's been traveling through the heliosphere, across the heliopause, and now in interstellar space. And Voyager 1's been in interstellar space for over, um, well, almost coming up on a decade. It'll be a decade this August. To have an object and to have this time capsule of the golden record on it that will continue and outlive us on Earth and you know be out there for something, some being to find in the future is, I think, very inspiring. It's turned out to be one of the most uh, mind-boggling discoveries we've ever made because now you realize with the diversity here, just think of what the diversity might be in our neighboring solar systems and further on other planets, other stars around other stars are not just possible, they're real. We've seen them, we've counted them. We've got, there's thousands and thousands. In fact, maybe billions of them, as Carl Sagan would say, mm -hmm. billions and billions of these places. And Voyager, we have Voyager to thank for that. The Voyager legacy is the treasure trove of data about these outer worlds and now about the solar system itself. They leave the solar system, both Voyagers. Voyager 1 is now, I think, 14 and a half billion miles out. It takes 19 hours for a signal to come back from a 23 watt transmitter running off of a nuclear fuel supply that's 45 years old. Talk about getting your value for the money spent. So I think it's entirely appropriate to be dedicating a statue and any other kind of monument to this mission that changed the way we see everything. Voyager for me was the inspiration for me to come to this amazing place. A place I couldn't even imagine working a place like this, but all I know that this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to get my hands and help build things like Voyager. I want to be able to build things like that, that goes to other planets. I wanted to see if I could build things that actually explore the surface of Mars. And I did and my team did, and, and I was blessed to be able to have those experiences. And now I feel it's my job to share them with people around the world. In the world today, we need to be able to look to the future and to have discoveries and to have reminders that we are all on this earth together and, it, and that the earth is tiny. It's our home, um, but it's tiny. It so fits what Carl Sagan was thought about when he was designing the, the record. I think he would be very deeply gratified that the Voyager interstellar message and the spacecraft itself had managed to capture the imagination of the artist who created this magnificent statue as well as the people of Georgia. Um, I think he would be as delighted as I am. We're just one pale, lonely dot 
but it, but we tend to think of ourselves as the only thing, but we're not the only thing. We're insignificant, and this record and this statue is an acknowledgement of that. Other than math, what code is more universal than science and learning about who we are and where we came from? And that's what Voyager was really about. Well, I'd like to thank the Georgian people for their enthusiasm about the Voyagers and the Golden Record, and for sharing that enthusiasm with the world through this beautiful sculpture. Thank you very much for, for, for acknowledging Voyager, acknowledging the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, um, and, and what we do here, and um, just keep inspiring your own people. You know, be space explorers. Keep, keep inspiring the Georgians to be space explorers and look at the stars and dream about what they can do in the future. My request to Georgians is to be curious. Don't take things for granted. Ask questions. Ask more questions and learn and discover because you can do the same thing that we're doing. As someone who actually worked at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, as the Voyager photos were coming in, I was really happy to hear about the plans to organize a sculpture dedicated to the Voyager probes and the golden records. The Voyager project and the work of NASA more broadly is a real inspiration to all of us to pursue our dreams and achieve the impossible. The story of Chakulo and the golden record is a strong example of the enduring respect and friendship between our two countries. Carl Sagan and NASA picked Chakrulo for the golden record as a testament to Georgia's polyphonic singing tradition, which is of unique cultural and global significance. NASA picked the song despite pressure from the Kremlin to pick Moscow Nights instead. This year, we celebrate 30 years of U.S.-Georgia diplomatic relations. But as the golden record and the story of Chakrulo demonstrate, the friendship and connection between our two people has a much longer history. It's been a tough decade for everybody. It's been a tough decade for Eastern Europe. And um, we can look at things like Voyager and some of the missions that are going on now. And I think that, at least for me, and I hope for the people of Georgia, it gives us hope that we've got a better future. We take a lot of things like that for granted here uh, in the United States. And uh, we should really be paying more attention to the amazing things that we do get to participate in. When there's war and illness and stuff like that, we need something bigger to look out to. I want to salute everyone involved with this great project and thank you from my heart because what you are remembering with this work of art is a moment of oneness for the whole planet a moment of complete inclusivity where our perspective, those of us who worked on the interstellar message, was embracing of the whole Earth with all the magnificent cultures within it, and notably the magnificent work of the Georgian men's choir and Chakrula, which all of us, Carl Sagan, myself, and everyone involved were so moved by and inspired by. I also want to thank you, Ramaz, my friend of all these years, who has been so steadfast in your, in your passion to promote and to, and to tell new generations about the power of the Voyager message. It means so much to me and I'm going to raise an imaginary glass and say, until we're together,
Didi Madloba, Ayes Chakrulo Romelitz Ayako. The sound you just heard was the original Chakrulo that was sent to space. And now, with a great pleasure, I would like to invite on stage some of the people who his voices are part to the original recording. Their voices are already part of the eternal history. Here they are. Mikhail Grishkashvili, Zaza Revazishvili, Omar Kavlelishvili, Nodar Tsereteli, Jemal Muserize, Otar Bluashvili, da Kansakutrebulat Batoli Ramin Mikaberize. These are living legends. All of us must be proud of them. Their voices are part of the story of the Voyager. Also, I would like to introduce brand new polyphonic ensemble, which was created specially for this event. I named it, The Voyager. Together with these legends, they will sing one of the famous Georgian polyphonic songs. Now I would like to invite on stage, the deputy head of the parliament of Georgia. Ms. Minister, dear ambassadors, dear guests, it is a great honor for me to be invited to attend this amazing event. 
Today is a very special day. There will be the sculpture dedicated to the Voyager and Chakrulo, placed here, in Tbilisi. This is George's appreciation of the amazing achievement by the NASA and the JPL team. With the Voyager project and the golden record, United States and NASA have proved again, that they working for the future of mankind. And here in Georgia, all of us know, that the NASA is not just another agency, but it is a place where they make the world a better place. I would like to thank everyone involved in creating the historic sculpture and this amazing event. I would like to also thank this beautiful place called Bioli. At the end, I would like to say one more thing. Chakrulo is the anthem of freedom and it acquired well-deserved place onto the legendary golden record. Thank you very much. Now I would like to invite on stage, the Ambassador of the United States of America to Georgia, Her Excellency, Kelly Degnan. It's really a thrill to be here for this event. Uh, the thrill that comes every time I hear polyphonic singing that just almost levitates your soul. Uh, it's so powerful, it's so inspiring, and it's it's exactly the right message to send out to whoever is out there in, uh, in other galaxies. Um, I also think it's uh, wonderful to be able to thank Ramaz, because if anyone can make miracles happen, we know it's Ramaz. He does it time and time again. And so I think it's fitting that it is Ramaz's inspiration um, that we are here to celebrate in terms of the, the sculpture to um, to this remarkable achievement. Uh, as he mentioned, I hate to admit, but um, a long time ago, worked at Jet Propulsion Laboratory just as these incredible photos were coming back from the Voyager spacecraft. In fact, my apartment was decorated with the, with the photographs coming back from the Voyager spacecraft because they were so otherworldly. And again, just uh, this connection um, between our little planet of Earth and um, everything that is out there. It's so fitting to me that it's here in Georgia that this is coming together. The connection between uh, Kartveli and aviation and NASA and space exploration is a perfect example of that strong connection between not just the United States and Georgia, but Georgia and the world, Georgia and in many ways uh, the universe. And I hope that all the Georgians are very, very proud of your contribution to humankind's um, exploration and um, communication with uh, other galaxies and life forms that may be out there. It's, it's very inspiring um, to be here today, here in Bioli, here in Tbilisi, to uh, have this commemoration of Georgia's contribution. And Chakrulo performed today is just as powerful, just as inspiring as it is on that golden record. So thank you very much for what you've done, Ramaz. Thank you to all of you who have performed this song um, many years ago for many civilizations and again for us today. It's incredibly inspiring and exactly what we need right now uh, in the midst of an uncertain time, this real inspiration. And I would also say our robotics team over here, to me, is, is the perfect accompaniment because they are generating the future with their ideas, with their know-how, just as we saw with um, Voyager and as NASA and, um, and JPL does every day. So thank you very much, Zalian Didi Madloba. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now I would like to present the Minister of Culture, Sports and Youth of Georgia. Dear guests, I would like to start by saying thanks. First of all, I would like to say thank you to this amazing place where this sculpture will be placed. Bioli is a very special place and its territory is perfect for this marvelous sculpture. And of course to Mr. Moraz Morvanitsi. I would like to ask everyone to applaud him. He is the author of the amazing sculpture which, from today will be part of this amazing place. 
I would like to say thanks to Mr. Ramas. Last year, when I was appointed Minister of Culture of Georgia, I met with Mr. Ramas and he told me about his long-time idea to create the sculpture dedicated to Voyager and Chakruo. And today I would like to congratulate him, because his idea and dream is already reality. I am very happy that despite many difficulties you still managed to make it happen. Congratulations! And at the end. I want to pay my tribute to these distinguished gentlemen. I wish you long and healthy life and happiness. With this amazing gesture that you stood up, we should all pay respects to everyone who stood besides you singing that legendary Chakrulo. The general sponsor of our event is the University of Georgia. Last year, I had another idea. As you know, most of my ideas are connected to space. In February 2021, JPL's Perseverance rover landed on Mars. I approached the University of Georgia to dedicate some kind of event to the landing of the Mars rover. Young engineers from the UG Limes suggested to build a full-size replica of the Perseverance rover. In the beginning I was little skeptical, but with help of the rector of the university, Mr. Constantine Tapuria, they really did build it. I remember, when I showed photos to my friend Rob Manning, who is JPL chief engineer, his response was, it looks like we missed Mars and landed in Georgia. I would like to invite on stage the rector of the University of Georgia, Mr. Constantine Tapuria. Dear representatives of the government, ambassadors and distinguished guests. I am very happy that there will be the sculpture dedicated to the Voyager and Chakrulo here in Georgia. As far as I know, we are the only country in the world with this kind of sculpture. The Voyager was and always will be very special for us. Entire our childhood we heard about the Georgian song Chakrulo being in space. The Voyagers are not just spacecraft. They represent great leap in understanding the our solar system and now the galaxy. Voyagers carried the culture of the entire mankind to space. They are first ambassadors of the entire planet Earth and the Milky Way galaxy. It must be mentioned that when USSR and Russia tried to replace Georgian song, with a Russian ballad, the NASA and the United States persevered with the first choice and did not let them to do so. 
I would like to thank everyone who took part in creating this amazing sculpture. First of all of course to Mr. Muraz Mervanadze, who turned 83 years old today. Thanks, to Mr. Tamas, without his support, this day would never happen. And last but not least, I want to thank my friend Ramos. Together we have already accomplished several projects and are planning more in the near future. Very soon, together with the Alexander Kartveli Association and our friend Richard Rubin, we are going to open the Learning Center and the Museum, dedicated to the famous Georgian-American aircraft designer Alexander Kartveli, at the University of Georgia.
Bravo! Didi Madloba. And now my favorite moment. The honorary citizen of Tbilisi. The distinguished artist of Georgia. The recipient of the Medal of Honor and the Georgian State Award. The recipient of Picasso, Chicago, Lincoln Center and other international awards. Different times, best stage designer of Georgia, United States, Canada, and Poland. Chief stage designer of the Marinsky Theater. Chief stage designer of the Rome Opera. Chief stage designer of the Monte Carlo International Music Association. Creator of several legendary Georgian animation films and simply great person and the human being. Today is great day. I was waiting for 83 years and always thought, someday my birthday will be celebrated this way. Although, there are several of my creations around the world, this is the first sculpture of mine, here in Tbilisi. I would really like to thank Tamas who made this day reality and to Ramas who inspired me. He brought to Georgia the true story of how the Georgian song Chakrulo ended up in space and that story became the basis for the sculpture that you are about to see. I would like to thank NASA and everyone involved, for the Voyager and for choosing Chakrulo to be part of the legendary golden record. Tamas, the person who created this little paradise called Bioli, financially supported the idea, and today I would like to say that this sculpture is my gift to Bioli and to Georgia. Also, I have a gift for my young friend Ramas. This is first clock. One minute please. Open it. The clock Chakrulo. Now I want to tell you a couple words about my other sculptures that are presented here. Here are two versions of sculpture to Alexander Kartveli. These are still work in progress. Next is the legendary George Balanchine, the founder of the American Ballet. Four-star General John Shalikashvili, and famous Georgian ballet dancer Vaktong Chabukiani. Of course, he was not American but his biggest successes are connected to the United States of America. Thank you very much. I wish you all the best. And please, love each other very much. I love you all. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a small surprise for Mr. Muraz. Even though it was mentioned already, I want to say again. Today Mr. Muraz turned 83. He looks 38, but turned 83. Here is a little surprise from the Bioli team. Bravo! <laughs> Dear friends, as you know, I have a foundation for promoting science, called, NOVA. Recently I decided to change the logo of the foundation and have, 8,000 years of Georgian winemaking and modern Georgia represented in one logo. Of course I approached Mr. Muraz with the idea and literally in 15 minutes he came up with the Georgian looking robot living in Favri. The ancient Georgian jar where they kept the wine. His idea lead to another one of my ambitious ideas and today I want to present the newly born animated character called Kirill. We are going to create the animation mini-series, where Kirill will answer all the science questions his little friends will challenge him with. Today, first time ever, you will meet our new animated friend and scientist robot.
Dear friends, I would like to say special thanks to the Ambassador of the European Union to Georgia, Mr. Karl Hartzell. Today, Georgia has a real perspective and chance to become a true member of the European Union. Georgia's place is in Europe. Georgia is Europe. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador. And now I would like to address my friends at JPL and in USA, in English. Thank you so much for all the help from you. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you for so much for helping me to promote science here in Georgia. And now, I want to invite on stage, my good friend, famous Georgian folklorist, Professor George Bagashvili. He will tell our friends around the world about Chakrulo and the Georgian polyphonic singing. Good evening. Today we are gathered for the very special and so far unprecedented reason. First of all, I would like to pay my respects to U.S. Ambassador Kelly Degnan, to the Ambassador of the European Union, Mr. Karl Hartzell, and to the Deputy Head of the Parliament. I want to say something in Georgian, before I start the English portion of my speech. This is truly historic day and again many thanks to our beloved Mr. Muraz. During thousands of years, the Georgian polyphonic singing was dedicating the sculpture to Georgia and Georgian nation. And today, we are opening the sculpture to the Georgian polyphonic singing. Dear guests, ladies and gentlemen, let me first of all express my excitement about today's event and uh, say the words of gratitude to my dearest friend, to Ramas, for his outstanding effort in fulfillment of this project. Of course, many thanks to an eminent Georgian artist, Muraz Murbanidze. 
it is really a very special day for me as a Georgian ethnomusicologist. Georgian polyphony is a unique phenomenon which is proclaimed by UNESCO, an oral and intangible heritage, a masterpiece of oral and intangible heritage of humanity. And Chakralo, with its large-scale, monumental, and surprisingly monolithic musical structure, exceeds the boundaries of traditional idea of singing forms of folk music. Expressiveness and the grandeur of this song is remarkable. And Chakral is also distinguished for intensively dynamic and continuous development of the musical idea. Uh, perfectly consistent harmony and most complex modulation, refined melodic pattern with subtle, mo subtle ornamentation. And I would like to refer to the words of two great musicians, which I believe express the aesthetic essence of Georgian folk song most, most precisely. One of them is uh, Igor Stravinsky, who admitted about Georgian polyphony that this active musical performance tradition with its roots in the ancient past is something remarkable that offers more to the performance than all of the achievements of modern music. And another is Stislav Rostropovich, who said following words, Georgian song is remarkably beautiful, strong and gentle. It is overwhelming and refined. There is no other polyphony like this. Hearing it just once will give you a taste of eternity. And indeed, Chakralo, with its roots in the ancient past, gives us a taste of eternity as it is comprehended in the past, present, and future simultaneously. Because it came from our forefathers, by the word of mouth, through the centuries, reached the present, and but in, but it itself goes down further to the next generation. And the unity of the past, present, and future gives the feeling of being a part of eternity. And this is so exciting that the song, mentally, emotionally, comprehended by the people who created it in eternity, owing to the NASA project Voyager 2, acquired an eternal life in the galaxy. Therefore, this marvelous sculpture, for me, is on the one hand the symbol of Georgian-American friendship, and on the other hand, symbol of eternal life of Georgian music. Thank you very much. One more time, I would like to say very special thanks to our sponsors and supporters. And now, let's go out and together reveal the historic sculpture.
Ansambli Şakrullah da Fenzvaneli Tamaz Luvaşvili. Bravo.